pop showed me the drums. The streets gave me my music. My mom showed me the love. Girls giving me. Tell us about like uh, you know the creative process you go through when you, you know what I'm saying you're making your music or even like even the creative control you have you know what I'm saying. Uh, well, I mean since I produce it all, you know what I mean it kind of start. I guess it would start from there. You know what I mean sometimes I got ideas of songs and it's like I want to make a song like this, but usually it's like I just make the music, I just sit on it and it's like usually by the time I'm on the I'm on the drums, I'm already on the hook. By the time I'm laying the keys, I'm on the verse. And I'm just like, let's just knock out a skeleton. Like a lot of times, my songs start like skeletons because I freestyle them. So I go like, you know, one, two, I just uh, mumble it and I fill it in later. Yeah. And I'll be like, damn, that's hot. You know what I mean? So that's that's my way of doing my music. And Earlier you talking about how you have a band and stuff, right? Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, talk about the difference between being uh, like a, a rapper, an artist, and a musician. I will like, or um, like even even a producer. You know what I'm saying? Somebody. Who I would say like this, like without knocking anybody. Yeah. I'm gonna have to knock people. It's kind of like a lot of people are like what I've learned over the years. It's like on the bigger level, a lot of people are kind of like manufactured. It's like, oh, here they are. I'll write this for you. I'll do this for you. I'll lay it like this. I even record you a what is it called a rough draft. Yeah. It's like it's all built for them. But when you start musician wise, it's like I'm there from the first key put down, the first note you play. That I, I'm on that. Like I actually make my own music. You know what I mean? A lot of people that produce their own music feel very strongly about their music. You know what I mean? So it's like. From the beginning to the end, it's like we build it. So that's the difference between me. It's like when you building it, you really, really in that thing. It ain't, it ain't like no, like you're just coming to it. It's like you feel it. You're like, oh, I know why this is there. And I remember why this is there. And I know why this is climbing and stuff. So it's like you really put it all into it. So as far as for, for people, I guess for a young cat, you know what I'm saying, who, who's trying to come up and who wants to get in the industry and make music, like what, what advice would you give them? I would say, honestly, if you're coming up, I would say, Go, go at it and, you know what I mean, believe in yourself. First of all, don't don't try to come in here and bite what other people are doing because that's like the number one mistake a lot of people make. So I would say the new artists, I would be like, go hard, be hungry, stay humble, be open to work with anybody. Be Always be open. I would never say box yourself in because yeah. you never know. Treat everybody good today because you never know who that person is going to be tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? That might be the man at the office where you got to call and he's like, oh, you. Sure. Remember me? <laughs> remember my song? You didn't want to get on? Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Door slam. So it's like always be humble, always be hungry, and always be ready for whatever. Like right now, the drop of the dime, they come in here like, go. Be ready. And yeah. be yourself. That's what's up. That's what I can say. So uh, can you talk about uh, the distribution deal? Oh, yeah. Uh, Universal, you know what I'm saying? Can you? So basically, uh, this What I Feel EP we've been playing, uh, I basically was sending it around. I mean, I was shopping the SGF song, you know, song with ROD. And uh, basically, they had hit me up like, yeah, this is, they're like, yeah, this is cool. You know, like, we're really feeling this. You got more more material. And I was like, I got a lot of material, but it was like, I don't want to just throw it out before it's copywritten. But I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Risk it. You know what I mean? So I started throwing it out. And then they was just like, yeah, this sounds pretty hot. Like, What's up? And I was like, well, I got this What I Feel EP. And then I sent them the whole EP packaged up. And it was like, yeah, this, this, that's that's what it is. And basically, it's JMD slash Universal Music Group. It's coming out this year. It was supposed to come out last week. But, you know, it, it, it's uh, we're putting more time behind the marketing. Like, I really want to make sure it's done right. So we're pushing it back a little bit of time. And when it drops, I'm telling y'all, it's, it's going to be ugly on there. And like I say, I got that coming out on, on Universal, but like like I say, I really I really love and embrace my people, like my fans. So it's like go online right now. If you go to thekidradar.com, I got free music for you too. Yeah. So it's like get this right now. You know what I mean? Get your little ah, get your little taste, and then wait for the, when the EP drops on them. Be like, bow. Play.